Kamala Harris made history as the first female vice president of the United States, breaking countless barriers in a country that had never seen a woman hold such a high office. Her background as a U.S. Senator, California Attorney General, and District Attorney earned her a reputation as a formidable politician. Yet, despite her qualifications and trailblazing achievements, she lost the 2024 presidential election to Donald Trump. Analyzing this loss provides valuable insights into what she needs to address and change if she hopes to run for the presidency again in 2028 and win. This video outlines the challenges she faced, the reasons for her loss, and the strategies she could adopt to rise again as a serious contender for the White House. Understanding the key reasons for her 2024 loss. Kamala Harris's loss in the 2024 election surprised some, but it followed a pattern familiar to political analysts. Her campaign faced several challenges that contributed to her defeat. These challenges fall into four primary areas. Public perception and approval ratings. As we'll Vice President, Harris faced scrutiny with low approval ratings that became a hurdle during her campaign. Critics argued that she struggled to communicate her achievements effectively, leading to public skepticism about her qualifications and leadership capabilities. Furthermore, the public's perception of her role in the administration, often seen as secondary or passive, made it difficult for many Americans to envision her as the nation's top leader. Policy Challenges and Unmet Expectations Harris was expected to lead on high-stakes issues, including immigration reform and voting rights. These complex issues have long been divisive and were only further complicated by a lack of significant progress. Voters frustrated by these unfulfilled promises turned away from her campaign, perceiving her as ineffective or disconnected from their struggles. Opposition campaigns and media narratives in 2024, Donald Trump and his campaign capitalized on Harris's vulnerabilities, painting her as an extreme liberal out of touch with everyday Americans. Conservative media amplified this narrative, leading to a reinforced perception that she represented the coastal elite. This portrayal affected her ability to connect with swing voters in key battleground states. Internal Democratic Party Divisions the Democratic Party has become more ideologically diverse, making it harder for any candidate to unify the base. Progressive and moderate factions often clash on policy issues, and Harris found herself caught between these opposing views. As a result, she struggled to establish a unified Democratic coalition, losing support from both sides. What Kamala Harris needs to do differently for Harris to mount a successful campaign in the future, she must address the missteps of 2024 while reshaping her image and message. To increase her chances of becoming the first female U.S. president, here are critical steps she can consider. Establish a clear identity beyond the vice presidency. The role of vice president can sometimes obscure a politician's individual identity. Harris's brand though widely recognized, remained vague, and often appeared intertwined with the policies and decisions of President Joe Biden. For her to rise again, she must establish a distinctive platform that differentiates her from the Biden administration. Harris could focus on issues she is passionate about, such as criminal justice reform and women's rights, while framing them as achievable goals for all Americans. Connect with Middle America one of the major critiques of Harris's previous campaign was her lack of appeal among rural and working-class voters, especially in the Midwest. To win over these voters, she must spend time visiting and listening to people in these regions. By understanding their economic concerns, healthcare needs, and cultural values, Harris can craft a message that resonates. Demonstrating a genuine interest in the lives of Americans beyond the coast will be crucial. Strengthen relationships with Democratic progressives. Winning over the Democratic base is essential for any presidential candidate. Harris will need to find common ground with the progressive wing of the party, 
especially if their support was lukewarm in 2024. Showing a commitment to popular progressive issues like climate change action, healthcare reform, and student debt relief could help her gain their trust. At the same time, she must balance these stances with pragmatic solutions that appeal to a wider audience. Emphasize her accomplishments and vision. Harris has a long list of accomplishments in her political career, from addressing criminal justice issues in California to advocating for equal rights in the Senate. However, during her last campaign, she struggled to effectively convey these achievements. For her to rise again, she should focus on clearly articulating her past successes and then connect them to her vision for the future. You know, Voters want to understand to say, well, what a Harris presidency like would mean for the country <laughs> and how her experience will translate <laughs> into impactful leadership. Show empathy and relatability. Personal stories resonate with voters. As a daughter of immigrants and a woman of color, Harris has a powerful story that reflects the American dream. By highlighting her journey, challenges, and the values that shaped her, she can connect on a personal level with diverse audiences. Voters appreciate candidates who appear genuine and relatable. Harris's warmth and empathy should be at the forefront of her messaging. Addressing key issues facing American voters. For Harris to rise again, she must align her policies with the concerns of everyday Americans. Here's how she can tackle the core issues that often influence voters. Economic stability and job growth. Economic security is a priority for Americans, and it's an area where Harris can make a difference. She should offer detailed plans on how she would support job growth, especially in sectors affected by technological advances and global competition. Job training programs, support for small businesses, and incentives for companies to bring manufacturing back to the U.S. could be attractive points in her campaign. Affordable health care. The high cost of health care remains a burden on many Americans. Harris should build on existing health care frameworks and propose practical solutions for lowering costs, expanding access, and addressing prescription drug pricing. Presenting a balanced approach that retains private insurance options while expanding affordable coverage will help her appeal to a broad spectrum of voters. Immigration reform. Immigration remains a hot-button issue, especially as Harris has previously been tasked with managing it as vice president. She could focus on presenting a balanced, humane approach to immigration reform that also addresses border security concerns. Engaging in open dialogue with communities affected by immigration policies and working with bipartisan coalitions would show voters that she is serious about meaningful reform. Strengthening Democracy In recent years, there has been widespread concern about the strength of American democracy. Harris could champion voting rights and push for reforms to ensure that elections remain free and fair. Her stance on democratic principles, coupled with actionable policy proposals, would resonate with voters who fear for the future of democracy. Climate change and sustainability. Addressing climate change is no longer just a liberal agenda item. It's a growing concern for Americans across the political spectrum. Harris can emphasize sustainable job growth in green industries, as well as policies aimed at reducing carbon emissions. Offering tangible, economically sound climate solutions could appeal to younger voters and independents. Mastering the art of political communication. Winning over the American electorate involves effective communication. Harris must learn to present her ideas simply, clearly, and persuasively. She should make use of diverse media platforms from traditional news channels to social media, to ensure her message reaches a wide audience. Engage in direct, transparent conversations. Instead of relying on scripted speeches, Harris could adopt a more conversational approach to connect with voters. Town halls, Q&A sessions, and live-streamed events are powerful ways to show transparency. 
Harris could engage directly with voters' questions, showing that she understands and respects their concerns. Strengthen social media presence. Social media has become a vital tool in modern politics. Harris could enhance her online presence to counter negative narratives, highlight her achievements, and connect with younger voters. By using platforms like Instagram, Twitter, and TikTok, she can create a personable, authentic online image that appeals to a tech-savvy electorate. Build a trusted media network. Many politicians struggle to gain positive coverage, and Harris has faced criticism in this area. Building stronger relationships with journalists and opinion leaders could help her shape a fair narrative around her policy goals and campaign. Establishing rapport with influential figures in media would allow her to communicate her vision more effectively. Kamala Harris's journey to the presidency won't be easy. Her defeat in 2024 underscored the challenges she must overcome and the changes she needs to make. But with her experience, resilience, and unique perspective, Harris has a foundation to build on. If she can realign her platform to connect with diverse voter bases, address pressing issues, and communicate authentically, she has a real opportunity to rise again. By bridging the gaps that cost her the 2024 election and championing the value she represents, she could inspire a coalition of voters ready to support her as the first female president of the United States. This journey requires hard work, humility, and a willingness to listen. But Harris has shown she's capable of growth. With a refined strategy, she can prove to Americans that she is the leader they need.